charges could yet flow from LNP electoral bribery allegations. Prosecutors may act on claims that MP Bruce Flegg was asked to make way for Campbell Newman before the 2012 election. It's a controversy that won't go away. Twice the Crime and Misconduct Commission has investigated whether Bruce Flegg was offered an inducement three years ago to vacate his seat for Campbell Newman. Twice the CMC has decided to take no action. But now the chairman, Ken Levy, has revealed a brief of evidence went recently to the Director of Public Prosecutions. Yes, it did. Not about electoral bribery, but false evidence. Further consideration has been given to an issue about false and misleading evidence, and a brief of evidence in relation to that matter is currently under consideration. It was the first public hearing since the Parliamentary Crime and Misconduct Committee was controversially overhauled late last year, with a new chairman and three new government members. But Labor's Joanne Miller and Jackie Trad and independent Peter Wellington are still there and still fired up. After quizzing the CMC boss, they turned their attention to the former Federal Police Commissioner Mick Kelty, who reviewed the CMC last year. The terms of reference were given to me by the Public Service Commissioner and I reported back to the Public Service Commissioner. So All right, it's secret. So no, it's no, secret. No, I think the people of Queensland have a right to know. Time ran out. So I have no, well, we're, when you're ready. Well, well, we're, well, we're nearly finished and I think uh, Mr. Oh, no, Peach no, is... No, 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 I, I think Mr. we need Pe to have an extension of time. Well, no, I don't think... There may be more time for questions tomorrow when Parliament resumes. Yvette Darth will be sworn in as the member for Redcliffe. An important day for Redcliffe, an important day for Yvette, and an important day for the Queensland Labor Party as well. Finally, our eighth member. Ms Darth will be Labor's spokeswoman for education and training.